My name is Maria Schmidt and today I am pleased to present you a short presentation that I prepared with my colleagues Dominika Granda and Professor Joanna Kauża on gut microbiota of centenarians. According to the dynamics of world population, in 2050 the percentage of people above 60 years will increase up to 22%. And demographic projections of WHO suggest that there will be 3.7 million centenarians across the globe. As centenarians represent the best model of successful aging, the study of gut microbiota of exceptionally long-lived individuals may be providing important insights uh, into healthy aging. The aim of the study was to examine selected aspects of gut microbiota of centenarians and whether it influences healthy aging. Uh, moving on to methods, PubMed and Science di uh, Direct databases as well as reference lists um, have been searched with the combination of terms that you can see on the slide, uh, which resulted in identifying 10 publications, 8 cross-sectional and 2 reviews. Um, as you can see on the picture from Weisserman work, uh, the gut microbiota decomposes with age and results of the studies indicate that the aging process and its rate are closely linked to gut microbiota homeostasis. Uh, comparing a gut microbiota of centenarians and 70-year-old uh, people, a lot of differences were observed. First of all, the gut microbiota of centenarians is characterized by a larger variety of species uh, in species composition. Secondly, bacteria of the type Bacterioidetes and Firmicutes are still predominant, but changes are observed in the subgroups of Firmicutes. Also, enrichment of proteobacteria is observed. What seems to be especially important uh, regarding healthy aging is that the gut microbiome of centenarians is more suited um, for xenobiotic degradation and shows a re rearrangement in metabolic pathways um, related to carbohydrate, amino acid and lipid uh, metabolism. Uh, then, uh, results of studies show that differences are even uh, between centenarians and super semi-centenarians. Uh, people, people who live up to uh, 104 years are characterized by overall um, increase of opportunistic bacteria, decrease of bacteria producing butyric acid and short-chain uh, fatty acids, and also um, some uh, researchers are indicating that those two um, bacteria may be a possible predictors for healthy aging. Uh, Semi-supercentenarians are characterized by increased variety in species composition and also increased um, uh, in an enrichment of bacteria which indicate beneficial effects on immunomodulation and metabolism. Uh, the results from different parts of the world showed the same changes in abundance of bacteria. Uh, gut microbiota uh, of centenarians from Italy and China was enriched in Ackermansia bifidobacterium e Christensenellaceae, uh, which are linked to lower body mass index um, and, are benef uh, and have beneficial effects on immunomodulation and homeostasis. Furthermore, each of those three studies showed decreased uh, abundance of Filum firmicutes. Uh, to conclude, studies involving centenarians show uh, showed how gut microbiota could adapt to extreme long exposure to both environmental and endogenous factors. Uh, the gut microbiota of elderly may affect the rate of aging, but no time thresholds have been set for the composition yet. And finally, studies suggest that the existence of longevity, uh, longevity specific bacteria that may be considered as predictor in the future. Uh, here you can see the references of the studies and thank you for your attention.